Mula po sa aming pamilya ng Radyo Balintataw, taus puso ang aming pasasalamat sa KBP at CMMA para po sa parangal at paggawad ng awards bilang maningning na paaralang bayan sa Himpapawid. <tinyo> Inihahandog ng Dialect Phase ang Philippine Center of the International Theater Institute at ng Earth Savers Movement sa pakikipagtulungan ng NBC ang Manila Broadcasting Company ang Radio Balintatao Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Mga minamahal naming tagapakinig ng Radyo Balintatao. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Cecil Guidote Alvarez, sa ngalan ng dialect ng Philippine Center ng International Theater Institute at ng Folk Arts for Communication and Education. Kasama rin po ang Earth Savers, hinirang na ikaanim sa mundo na UNESCO Dream Center. Pinarangalan din po na UNESCO Artist for Peace. Buong lugod po namin kayong inaanyayahan Nasamahan niyo po kami ngayong gabi sa isa pong mahalagang pagbabahagi sa isang sining balita sa ating pong uh, pag uh, Papahagi ng uh, makasaysayang paghahandog uh, ng Glory Awards ng UP Mass Communications College at ito nga po ay uh, ibinibigay ng kanilang Alumni Association. Ating pong uh, bibigyan diin ang kahalagahan ng uh, kanilang parangal sa mga kanilang piling-piling 2020 communicators na kanilang pinarangalan kamakailan lamang. At tayo po ay natutuwa na dalawa sa kanilang pinarangalan ay masasabi po nating peta-branded artist. Kanya nais po nating uh, ihandog sa inyo ang uh, magandang pag-aalay ng uh, pagpugay uh, hindi po sa lahat ngunit babanggitin po lahat yan ng uh, presidente ng uh, UP College of Mass Communication Alumni Association President sige ng Malu Chowa Fagar at uh, bibigyan daan natin ang kanyang uh, pananalita sa awarding ceremonies na itinanghal nga po by Zoom or sabi natin virtual awarding at ang mga MC doon ay sila Joey Reyes at Rika Abad at syempre po ito ay itinatag ng UP College of Communications Alumni Association para alalahanin, gunitain ang unang dean ng UP College of Communication walang iba kung hindi si Dr. Gloria Feliciano. Pakinggan po muna natin ang ating uh, pagbabahagi ng uh, opening remarks ni Ms. Malu Chowa Fagar, Presidente ng UP College of Communication Alumni Association. Our next speaker is the embodiment of loyalty and leadership. She has been leading UP's NCAA for three consecutive terms as president. Under her stewardship, UP's NCAA has embarked on many profitable projects, which in turn led to the increased support for our college, the faculty, students, and even staff. Please give a warm welcome to the indefatigable Malu Choa Pagar. University of the Philippines President Danilo L. Concepcion, Vice President for Public Affairs Elena E. Pernia, UP Dilevan Chancellor Fidel R. Nemenso, UP College of Mass Communication Dean Arminda V. Santiago, UP CMCAA Board of Trustees, Glory Awards Board of Judges, the family of Dean Gloria D. Feliciano, Dr. Aurora Feliciano Banson, and Mr. Jing Magsaysay, UPCMC faculty, alumni, staff, students, and friends. Good afternoon. Welcome to the fourth Glory Award Ceremony. 
Many volunteer alumni worked very hard behind the scenes on this unique production. None of us were prepared for the global health emergency, but in these times, we have to persevere, survive, and be resilient. These are the same qualities that our 2020 Glory Awardees have in common, aside from talent. There's Deo Edrinal. Finding ways to keep productions and content going amidst a pandemic, and despite an administration's best efforts to take away their right to broadcast. Karen Davila, pushing forward with tough, probing journalism in the face of vicious online trolls and the flood of fake news. The incredibly beautiful body of work by Lutgardo Labad, made under the very unideal circumstances of local movie production, and his persistence in making people care about art and culture in a society. Ray De La Cruz never giving up and using immense artistry to pursue ways of interacting with children who have highly challenged social skills. Monina Movida Escalada, diligent and creative in her use of media in ag agriculture as a tool for education and, and empowerment of farmers. And last but not the least, Griselda Yabes, deftly blending the skills of a seasoned journalist with her exceptional literary gifts. This is a lesson for all MASCOM students. Your school and mentors can only give you the tools to get through college, but succeeding, making an impact in society needs perseverance and resilience. Your alumni association has not been numb to the crisis. When we learned that 700 students were trapped in UP Los Baños last March, we contributed to the donation drive and urged UP MASCOM alumni to do the same. Recently, we answered an appeal to help our scholars Nambayan, many of whom were poorly equipped for remote learning. It was very hard to solicit funds under the prevailing conditions, but we knew that many students were in dire need. Therefore, your alumni board made the decision to commit most of our student welfare funds to UP Kaagapay. This is the university fund drive to help ensure productivity and connectivity for those who cannot afford a laptop and a reliable internet service. After this program, we will launch our own appeal to collect a modest alumni fee from more than 3,000 members of our fa Facebook page. We shall be needing your help to replenish our depleted funds. It will enable us to continue the work that we do. I wish to thank all of our alumni who followed the Glory Awards for the last four years. We will count on your support to sustain the Glory as a signature event of your alumni association. Wherever you are, may you find a good and relaxing spot where you can watch and enjoy the 2020 Virtual Glory Awards show. God bless us all. Ang ating pong itatampok ay ang particular awarding na inialay dito sa ating uh, kinikilalang uh, napakagaling na mga peta artist Doon po sila nagsimula. Ngunit uh, sila po ay mga between na kung saan man sila pumadpad para kanilang ibahagi ang kanilang talino, pagmamalasakit at uh, pagmamahal sa bayan at sa kanilang uh, lupang sinilangan. Unang-una po ang ating uh, ipapabahagi ay ang special award o pagkilala kay Dr. Professor Ray De La Cruz. Batang Bata pa po noon si Rejo, naalala ko, napaka-liksi, napaka-talented, enthusiastic at um, pinakita niya ang gilas batang-bata pa sa pagsusulat ng dula at uh, nandun nga ay yung kombensyon ng mga halimaw. Nandiyan pa rin ang mga ilang pang kanilang mga ginawa. Ngunit higit sa lahat, um, ang talagang napakagandang tinatawag na value na kanyang uh, pinapakita o binibigyan ng halimbawa ay ang kanyang uh, matinding alaala at pagpapahalaga sa balyesteros kung saan siya sinilang. Gumawa siya ng napakagandang story at nandun lahat ang mayamang alaala tungkol sa kanyang kabataan na napakarami na nga rin pong mga nagbasa nito. It's an 
excellent storytelling book for children. Nandyan po ang uh, mga musika na parang uh, binigyan ng uh, pagpapahalaga itong kwentong ito. At tayo naman po ay ating uh, natampok dito ang pagbabasa ng ganyang kwento tungkol sa Ballesteros in my mind na binigkas ni Kuya Boji Pasqua. Ang napakahalaga po na ginagawa ni Dr. Ray De La Cruz ay ang uh, kanyang pagmamalasakit sa special education. Napakahalaga po ito sapagkat kung gusto natin sabihing education for all, inclusivity, itong ginagawang pagbibigay ng malasakit sa mga special children para mabigyan sila ng alay ng edukasyon. At uh, nakatutuwa nga na nakalakip pa doon ang pagpapahalaga sa ating tradisyon. Pakinggan po ninyo kung bakit siya na pili na glory awardee for 2020 ang mga sinasabing pagbibigay uh, ng pasasalamat sa kanyang mga inambag hindi lang dito para sa ating bayan ngunit andun po siya as an overseas Filipino hawak niya ang bandila ng Pilipinas sa Chicago at talagang nagniningning na guro para sa special education Professor Dr. Rejo De La Cruz Isang manunulat na galing sa pera. Isang kabataan mula sa San Beda. Malikhaing anak ng rehiyong Amyanan. Bayang Balesteros, doon sa Kagayan. Batang mandudula siyang nakilala. Panahong Marshalo, Dekada 70. Alagad ng sining, talagang multitask, multi-talented, mandudula, manunula, aktor, direktor. At... Si Reju de la Cruz ang isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit uh, lumaki at tumanda na ako sa, sa teatro dito sa Pilipinas. Um, nung first year high school ako, that was 1975, um, nirequire kami ng aming Filipino teacher na si Susan Jacinto na panuorin ng isang dula sa UP. Uh, napakalayo nun, no, no? kasi sa San Beda naman ako nag-aaral. Talagang bumiyahe ako para panuorin yon to fulfill a requirement. At, pero nung pinanood ko, manghang-mangha ako uh, sa, mga nap- sa mga nasaksihan ko. Hindi ko akalain yung power ng, ng theater na magagawa ng gano'n. Sabi ko, wow, gano'n pala ang theater. <laughs> Siya rin ang naging inspirasyon, no? uh, yung play na yon yung programang Putol-Putol, ang naging inspirasyon para isulat ko yung kauna-unahan kong dula. Sa kanyang mga dula ako, nagsimulang maging uh, mulat at malay no? sa craft ng playwright. At si Ray de la Cruz ng Magibang Bansa. Ang kanyang talino ay lalong nahasa. Kanyang edukasyon umikot sa sini at ibinahagi ang kanyang aralay. Almost five years in Chicago, I got to know more of Ray's passions and preoccupations. He was an avid academician and never stopped studying. In fact, he has earned several graduate degrees. Admirably, he has extended the field of communication into education, particularly special education, where he is accredited for having introduced the art of Sunka to teach kids with special needs. He is one of our most prolific and innovative contributing writers. 
in Filipinas magazine which gave him an achievement award for the arts. He started the hometown stories with his article Ballesteros on my mind, which eventually became a children's book. Lamparan ng kultura at sining ay Rey de la Cruz. Nakalaki pitong pagbati ko lubos. Mabuhay, Rejo de la Cruz. Rey de la Cruz, the winner of the Glory Award for Special Education. Mabuhay! Greetings from Chicago! I'm honored and humbled to be with my fellow Glory awardees, especially because two of them are my friends. Griselda Yabes is uh, my co-correspondent on Positively Filipino, and Gardi Labad is an old PETA friend. Two PETA originals receiving the Glory Awards. This is historic, making our mentor PETA founder and mother of Philippine theater, Cecil Guidotti Alvarez, very proud. I would like to thank Dr. Delia Barcelona, my bosom friend at the University of Chicago, for nominating me. Also, I would like to share this Glory Award with my friends, classmates, and professors and staffers at UP MassCom including Mang Emoy and Aling Suming. Now, my acceptance speech. Ako ay sudyante ng UP Mascom ng panahon ng martial law. Pero ito ay hindi naging hadlang para ako ay maging matapang, malikhain, at tagapagtibay at tagapagtanggol ng katotohanan. Ngayong walang katiyakang panahon, Ang Glory Award na ito ay magiging inspirasyon sa akin at sa mga ibang tao upang yakapin ang hindi alam, harapin ang panganib, isagawa ang mga palak, maging alagad ng sining at kultura at tumulong sa ibang tao. Talaga pong uh, punong-puno tayo ng galak uh, dahil sa parangal kay Rejo. Gayun din po kay Lutgardo Gardi Labat na talaga namang isang natatanging cultural worker, total artist, exceptional composer and lyricist at hindi lang po yun. Talagang masasabi nating nangunguna sa pagbibigay diin sa kahalagahan ng kalinangan ng heritage at talagang bumalik sa buhol para doon talaga maging isang cultural animator at binuunga ang kasing sining na company na talaga namang uh, binibigyan ng larawan ang yaman ng uh, kasaysayan at ang mga tradisyon dyan sa Bohol. At nais rin po sana nating sabihin na batang-bata pa yan si Gardy, seminarista pa nga po. At um, masasabi po natin na ginagamit niya ngayon ang uh, teatro, ang sining na parang pulpito para sa pagtuturo ng mga values at uh, nakatutuwa pong nakasama natin yan. Batang-bata ay tinulak po natin siya into composition, uh, pati na ang uh, historic presentation first uh, Filipino translation dyan sa Fort Santiago ng uh, Larawan. Siya uh, kasama si Nonon Padilla ang naging composer. At uh, sa Amerika din, uh, in exile, nakasama rin po natin si Gardy at uh, gumawa kami ng isang modern sarswela. Kasama ang maraming mga peta artist na nandun. Lili Gamboa, Rudy Hermano, Supay Kadar. Uh, nakatutuwa po na si Gardy ay talagang uh, merong masasabing 
malawak ng karanasan, hindi lamang po for developing theater in the Philippines, ngunit palit na rin po sa tinatawag nating international cultural relations. Pakinggan po natin ang parangal para kay Gardi Laban ng Glory Awards. The score of 85 movies, nine of them award-winning, takes talent and inspiration. He also made an impact on future generations through his contributions to PETA and continues to do so with the Lobok Children's Choir. He embodies the spirit of giving back to the people. remember, Gardy was only a teenager when he came um, to the Peta Summer Theatre Workshop. I noticed as my student how focused he is, how terribly committed and um, very enthusiastic to learn. Very freely he would get involved and indeed he had the mark of creativity, flexibility, innovation, and social commitment. Instrumental din si Gardi para maipakilala ang PETA sa buong mundo. Nine-month tour sa North America at sa Europe, dala ang palabas na panata sa kalayaan or Oath to Freedom. 13 countries and 73 cities. Performances, workshops, interactions with different uh, cultural groups, theater groups, artists. His work and major contributions are interwoven into the PETA history and the development of our cultural work. In 1973, he took his undergraduate uh, thesis proposal and offered it to PETA and it became the foundation of our creative pedagogy. The work that we do up to now, uh, the PETA curriculum, which uh, we have taken through different parts of the countries, different regions, especially during martial law. And Gardi has been part of this work and he has also taught this uh, curriculum, the Integrated Theatre Arts Approach, all over the world to, to different parts of the globe. I remember one production that Gardi directed. It was Nasa Pusong, America. And um, sometimes our rehearsals would go on until four in the morning. <laughs> Many of us would be dozing off by the stone walls of the Ra Sulaiman Theater in, at the Fort Santiago. But Gardi was just tireless and would not stop until he brings his vision into fruition. And that is the spirit that has been kept alive by Gardi. Gardi, as he is known in theater circles, is both legend and maverick. A legend because he was one of the artists whose vision and talent helped build the PETA brand in the early years of this groundbreaking and intensely nationalistic theater organization. A maverick because he has chosen to move to Bohol, where he has become a nurturing force in the development and promotion of the performing arts in the Visayas. Hindi ko makakalimutang binahagi niya sa amin noong 50th year anniversary ng PETA nung nagsalita siya 
ay tungkol sa heritage. Ang sabi niya, and I quote, Heritage is something of value from the past which is bequeathed to future generations. Heri, Latin for yesterday, tage or tangere, Latin for touch. Literally, heritage means touching yesterday. In the field of theater and performing arts where directors are often regarded as God, Gardi has chosen instead to play Godmother to both the contemporary as well as the traditional artists of the Visayas. By recognizing him, we recognize and honor artistic efforts at the grassroots. Lutgardo Labad, the winner of the Glory Award for Arts and Culture Advocacy. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much. University of the Philippines College of Mass Communication Alumni Association. Ito po ay isang heaven sent na, na biglang-biglang dumating sa akin. Itong karangalan ng Glory Award. I'd like to thank my colleagues in the university and all of our teachers who were really responsible in honing me in the basic of mass media. And hindi ko po sila makakalimutan. Sila, the late Coco Trinidad, and katulad nila Tessa Hasmines, nila Ed Sikam, nila Jimmy Ong, who made me appreciate the values of media and their effects on our people. One of the important breakthroughs during that time for me was I was able to begin an experiment for my thesis, and this was the Integrated Arts Workshop and its effects on a, high, on a group of high school students and high school teachers because there was such a need to upgrade cultural education in the Philippines then. So with a team of PETA teachers, artist teachers, we experimented with a five-day workshop of the integrated arts and lo and behold, that was the beginning of our creative pedag pedagogy curriculum in PETA. And I'm so proud to tell you that that pedagogy, which was given birth in that uh, thesis uh, idea, uh, expanded and reached the, in every nook and cranny of our country with workshops, seminars, and lectures on the value of the arts for development. Two of the most important values or lessons I learned from the college were the value of research and the value of excellence in media work. And these two things guided me all along from PETA to my work in the provinces, in the regions, with the help for now with the provincial government of Bohol and with the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. All our seminars, workshops, research projects are all uh, tinged with focusing on the medium as an important part of the message. I'm really deeply honored with this Glory Award. Despite my retiring age, I would like to thank all of you who made this possible. And to my colleagues, my classmates, my teachers, my professors, and the media community of creatives, I vow to continue on with this work. I pledge to see to it that the values of mass media communication to portray the truth, to do it so beautifully through different times, through these challenging times. We will continue to do it through this challenging gift of mass communications for our people. Marami pong salamat, daghang salamat sa inyong tanan. Napakamadamdaming parangal para sa mga Glory Awardees at ating nga pong ipinahagi sapagkat talagang tuwang-tuwa po tayo. Uh, tawag nila sa akin eh, nanay ng peta. Siyempre, kahit na sinong ina ay talagang wow, proud na proud, joyous sa ganitong napakagandang karangalan na tinamo ni Gardi at saka ni Rejo. At hindi po magtatapos dito, patuloy po ang kanilang 
paglilinang ng talino ng uh, komunidad kung saan sila naglilingkod. At dahil nga po, meron pa tayong mga iba pa pong uh, mga gagawin. Sila po ay kasama sa ating International Theater Institute, Social Change Network at mga iba pang committees. Napakahalaga na kung saan tayo ay nagbibigay ng halimbawa for inclusive arts education, andyan si Professor Radio De La Cruz para maging expert advisor. Uh, alam po ninyo, ang United Nations ay merong uh, World Disability Day at dito rin sa Pilipinas meron tayong Disability Prevention and Rehabilitation Month pag July. Aba, eh, syempre, aanyayahan natin si Professor Radio at sasabihin na magandang mapabahagi ni Professor Radio ang kanyang mga estratehiya, ang kanyang karanasan, ang uh, makasaysayang ugnayan niya sa mga special children, sa kanyang pagtuturo sa Chicago para ma-share ito sa mga teachers of special ed dito sa Pilipinas. Yan po ang ating uh, nais na mangyari at syempre po si Gardy ay chairman ng Music Theater Committee ng Philippine Center ng ITI. Kasama po siya sa pagbibigay diin sa kahalagahan ng sining as um, a tool for healing trauma for uh, talagang therapy para nga sa ganitong mga desperadong mga sitwasyon katulad nga ngayon na hinaharap po natin, hindi lang ang health economic crisis dahil nga dito sa COVID-19, kundi ang katakot-takot na climate change catastrophes, ang hagupit ng super typhoon. Nakakaiyak nga po ang nangyari dyan sa Uh, well, sa lahat ng tinamaan ng bagyo, ngunit uh, napakasakit ang nangyari dyan sa aming rehiyon sa Cagayan Valley at sa Isabela. Naku, matagal na pong sinasabi ni dating Senador Hirson Alvarez na kailangan alagaan ang ating mga kabundukan. Kanya nga yung Sierra Madre Mountain na napakahalaga. A important protected area dapat yan. At yung mga river system ay dapat talagang pinangangalagaan at inaalagaan upang magamit ng mabuti. Hindi lang para sa irigasyon, para talaga sa uh, pagkain. Marami pong mga pangangailangan at dapat sana nga tayo rin ay nagkakaisa. At salamat sa lahat ng nakikiisa, tumutulong, nagmamalasakit. Kami po dito sa Radyo Balintataw uh, may panawagan na sana kung gusto nyo rin tumulong at hindi nyo alam kung paano ipapaabot, uh, makaisa na kayo sa Operation Tulong dito sa DZRH o sa Caritas o sa inyong mga parish kami dito po naman sa Manila Cathedral. So, sana uh, nandyan po tayo Hawakan natin ang kamay ng mga nasalanta, makiisa po tayo sa ating pagbibigay ng malasakit, ng kalinga, ng pagmamahal. At yan po ang buod ng kanilang paglilingkod bayan sa sining dahil sa kanilang pagmamalasakit, dahil alam nilang ang sining ay isang puwersa ng edukasyon at isa rin pong tulay para magkaroon ng likas kayang kaunlaran. Muli binabati po natin lahat ng mga Glory Awardees at tahigit sa lahat, nandyan po ang ating masigabong palakpak para sa ating mga maningning na anak ng PETA, Gardi Labag ng Bohol at si Professor Dr. Radio De La Cruz ng Ballesteros, Cagayan. Diyos Chagnina. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Cecil Guidote Alvarez, sa ngalan ng dialect ng Philippine Center ng International Theater Institute at ng Earth Savers, itinatag ng dating Senador Hiherson Alvarez. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa inyong walang sawang pakikinig sa lahat po ng aming mga kakampi na naghahatid sa inyo katulong namin para dito sa paaralang bayan sa Himpapawid Radio Balintataos 
sa DZRH. At yan po ay ang Mapicon. Mapicon herbal base na pagtulig sa sa mga insekto. Ingat po kayo, lalo na dyan sa baha. Ang dahil pong mga sakit na natatamo ngayon. At nandyan din po ang Tesoros, House of Native Arts and Crafts. Casuela, Spanish Colonial Cuisine Restaurant. Nandyan na po sa UP Village. Dyan po sa Quezon City. Apat Maginhawa o 4 Maginhawa Street. 0917-193-7427 for delivery and pickup. At para naman sa inyong mga social platform needs, contact nyo lang po ang info at abacosolutions.ph Siyempre, nagpapasalamat po tayo sa ating technical production supervisor, Salvador Bong Muyar, ang ating executive assistant, Susan Claudio ng Caffeinated Palette, at si Hexelon Alvarez, National Youth Director ng Earth Savers. Hanggang dito na lang po, paalam, patnubayan nawa tayo ng Panginoong Diyos, at sana nga po, follow health protocols, yung mask, social distancing, huwag kailangan sa maraming mga uh, group events muna. Konting sakripisyo para talagang abutin natin ang pagbabalik ng tunay na normal sa ating buhay. Stay safe, keep healthy. Muli, mabuhay ang mga glory awardees. Music